Hi, I'm Dr. Frida. Did you hear that Wendy Williams had to take a brief leave of absence from the Wendy Williams show because she has Graves' disease? Do you know what Graves' disease is? Do you think you may have Graves' disease? Keep watching. So yes, Wendy Williams made the brave announcement that she was taking a leave of absence for her health because she has Graves' disease or hyperthyroidism. When this news first broke, many of my curious patients and a lot of my conspiracy theorist friends and family started asking me questions like, do you think Wendy Williams really has Graves disease or is this a stunt? They asked me, can thyroid disease make you sick enough to have to leave work? And some of my patients, my shady patients, even asked me, Dr. Frida, I have thyroid disease. Why don't you write me a note so I can leave work? Well, for those of you who watch the Wendy Williams show or who have followed her career over the years, you know that Miss Wendy has been very honest about having thyroid disease throughout the years. So no, this is not a stunt. And yes, what she said is correct. Graves disease can be serious enough to have to take a leave and to manage it properly. So in the next few minutes, we are going to clear up some of these conspiracy theories. And for the record, I am not Wendy Williams' physician, so I do not know about Wendy in particular, but I do know Graves' disease, and I do know about the thyroid. So what is Graves' disease? Graves' disease is the most common form of hyperthyroidism, or overactive thyroid. The thyroid gland is the butterfly-shaped organ located in the front of your neck. It is located right above the clavicle or the collarbone and right under the voice box. And the voice box is where men have Adam's apples. Unless you are a man who has had your Adam's apple surgically shaved down, but that's a lecture for a whole nother day. So the thyroid. The thyroid is responsible for producing thyroid hormone, which helps to regulate the metabolism or the energy. So in the simplest sense, if you have hyperthyroidism, you have an overactive metabolism, overactive energy. Now for those of you who are obsessed with being super skinny or having super metabolisms, hyperthyroidism may sound like a pretty good thing, but trust me, it is not. Hyperthyroidism has many, many consequences which can lead to debility or even death. Hyperthyroidism is a very serious disease which must be managed. So what are the symptoms of hyperthyroidism? Patients with hyperthyroidism can get anxiety or irritability, fatigue, extreme weight loss, tremors. Another symptom is hair loss or hair thinning. Patients can also develop bulging eyes or exophthalmos. This occurs because when the hyperthyroidism is not controlled, that thyroid hormone causes the muscles around the eyes to swell. And these swollen muscles cause the actual eyeballs to protrude out of the sockets. You will see these patients and note that they have the whites of their eyes showing all around. These patients also tend to have red or itchy eyes as well. Another symptom of hyperthyroidism is a very fast, irregular, pounding heartbeat. And if it's not controlled, the hyperthyroidism can cause a fatal arrhythmia, meaning that this fast, irregular heartbeat can lead to cardiac failure and death. Other symptoms of hyperthyroidism include frequent bowel movements or abnormal periods or even having no period, no menstrual cycle at all, which can lead to infertility. Patients with hyperthyroidism can also be overheated, get a lot of sweating and just hot very easily. This type of symptom can cause one to overheat if wearing a heavy costume, for example, and it can make the patient feel faint. Other symptoms of hyperthyroidism include generalized fatigue and weakness, and also weakness, 
specifically in the upper arms and in the thighs. So this can make patients have difficulty raising their arms above their heads or have difficulty climbing stairs. Another symptom of hyperthyroidism can be abnormal vision or blindness, yes. The thyroid hormone can also cause a swelling of the main eye nerve or the optic nerve, and this can lead to a change in vision or even blindness. So indeed, hyperthyroidism is a very, very serious illness. So is there a treatment for Graves' disease or hyperthyroidism? Absolutely. The treatment for hyperthyroidism can be medications that actually decrease the amount of hormone that the thyroid hormone makes, such as propylthiouracil or methimazole. Another treatment is radioactive iodine. Radioactive iodine actually destroys the thyroid gland so that it does not make thyroid hormone. For patients who are treated with radioactive thiodine, they will have to take thyroid replacement hormone for life. Another treatment of hyperthyroidism is surgery or actually removing the thyroid gland. Most physicians will try to do the less invasive treatments because surgery, as with all invasive procedures, can have complications. So now to address those patients of mine, and you know who you are, who said, Dr. Frida, I have thyroid problems. Why won't you write me a note for work? Well, for those patients, the ones I'm treating in particular, they have hypothyroidism or underactive thyroid, which is more common. And it's especially common in elderly females. With hypothyroidism, symptoms tend to be slow heart rate, constipation, very low energy, excessive weight gain. You can also have hair thinning and fatigue for sure. Patients with hypothyroidism are treated with thyroid replacement hormone, such as levothyroxine. And for those of you, patients of mine, who do not have notes for me to miss work, it's because I measure your thyroid hormone regularly and we have you managed. So thyroid disease is manageable. And if taken seriously and treated properly, patients with thyroid disease can work and have full, fun, happy lives. So next question, how can you be tested for thyroid disease? Well, you can be tested for thyroid disease with a blood test. It can be done by your primary care physician and it's called thyroid stimulating hormone or TSH. And you can also have the actual thyroid hormone measured, T3 or T4. So certainly if you have any symptoms of hyperthyroidism or hypothyroidism, you should be tested. If you have a family history of thyroid disease, you should be tested. Just have an open dialogue with your physician. Make sure you are your own health advocate and ask about thyroid disease. Well, I hope this answered any questions you had about Graves' disease and all of the conspiracies that you've come up with. And if you have more questions, please feel free to comment. I want to hear from you. Also, I want to know if there are any other health topics you're interested in talking about. Please subscribe to Dr. Frida. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.